Hello amazing people, I am Ish Martin and welcome back to the part 8 where we are creating a WhatsApp loan app in Flutter. So if you have missed the previous parts then worry not, I have already mentioned them right here as well as in the description box. So do check it out as well. In this part, we are going to create the profile page for the personal view when we go via settings and from the users view when we click on someone else's profile and view so we are going to create that also we are going to create the bottom sheet inside the message screen so that we can send video audio gif contact location messages via that so i have added the ui for these type of messages as well and also if we type some text in the field then we'll be able to send that message and the screen should automatically scroll to the bottom so all these functionalities i have created in this video so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel then make sure to do that as more of these amazing videos are coming soon so with that being said let's dive in so we are on our laptop and let's go to our android studio and as you can see i can show you all the changes that i have made in the part 8 so these are all the changes that we are going to discuss in this video so first let me show you my pubspec.yaml file okay So as you can see in the last part we've added the Flutter Web RTC package. So after that I have added two more packages. The first one is the file picker. So basically in the bottom sheet that I am having inside message screen, there I am using file picker to pick the documents like PDF, audio videos etc so there i'm using this plugin after then i'm using the scrollable position list this plugin is provided by google itself so it is used to scroll to a particular index inside a list view so it is very essential as well so i have added just these two packages we don't have to do any setup inside Android. So let's just first run the app so that you guys can also see what is happening. So first let me open up my emulator. Uh, okay. And there is our app. Let me put this aside. Awesome. Right here. Now let's run the app and wait for it to complete all right so as you can see the app is completely installed on my android phone and it is running right here hmm. awesome so as you can see our app is loaded and we can see the users and now what I wanted to show you first. So as you can see inside my commits also, there are three main changes, basically two main changes in the message page and the profile page. In the splash page, I have just made a small change that I wanted to talk about. So basically, let me open up the splash page right here. So what I added is in the init state, I added this future dot delayed. So what this will basically do is that whenever the app opens, it will wait for four seconds and then it will automatically navigate us to the onboarding page, right? For now, we are simply navigating to the onboarding page. But later on, what we will do is we will integrate Hive inside our Flutter application so that we can store locally if the user is installing the app for the first time or if he is using the app. 
so therefore we'll change this later on as well the main change that i wanted to talk about is in the profile page so in the profile page dot dot here i have made some changes first remove this from here okay great hmm. so firstly inside the profile page let me show you the ui so if i go to the user page right here and then i click on the view profile then we have this kind of ui okay so we have full name about email gender and the logout delete account so actually i showed my real phone number right here so i'm going to remove that first so let me Yeah, so I have changed the phone number. Okay, let me restart the app. Now let's go back to the view profile. Awesome. So basically what I'm doing here is that in the profile page, first I added an enum. So basically, view means that we have to view someone else's profile and personal means we have to view our own profile and we can edit as well so if i want to change the name email or about so i can do that from here all right so if i go back and if i go to the chats and if i open up any user's chat and click on the name here on top right here then this profile with the this page is also profile page right but now the enum the value that you are getting is profile page status dot view okay so this kind of ui i inspired it from whatsapp only right so basically let me just go back again and let's talk about how the ui i created okay so inside the profile page first i added these enums and then i am getting these two variables from in the constructor so basically the user uh so for for the case of personal i am passing the my own user that is saved in main dot dot right here and if it is view then we are passing that particular user from the message screen then we are passing the profile page status that is nothing but the enum that we talked about after then i created these variables so basically i created these icons which I'm not going to talk about right now. Okay. And I created this user variable, which I'm initializing in the init state from the constructor. I created this Boolean toggle, which also is not regarding this page right now. And the selected gender I have set to zero. So for example, this is zero, one and two. Okay, cool. So inside the scaffold, basically. Okay. Inside the scaffold, I'm having the background color and body as get body. So get body is nothing but I'm using switch case. So if the profile page status equals to view, 
then we'll show the profile page for that particular user else if it is personal that i'm going to show the profile page for my own user so currently this widget is rendering okay so let's expand this okay and let's see what is happening first i created a column with a single child scroll view so that i can scroll it and inside i added a height of 16 so basically 16 is the height that i added and i also added a safe area just because that the ui will start below the status bar that we are having okay then after then i am having a row so this row contains a icon button so this icon button is nothing but this back button that we are having so on pressed we have we should have navigator.pop okay cool so and then i'm having this splash radius as 26 and let me reload the app and now if i click on here it will automatically go back great so this is simple icon that i have added then i am having 16 height again between this row and the image 16 height is there as well then i added the image with a container within a com container of width and height 140 so the width and height is 140 and inside the decoration i created shape as circle and i am passing the image as user dot picture okay after then i am again passing the sized box of 16 height the spacing right here then i am passing the user name after then height of 8 and then the mobile number inside the row so i choose row so that i can add this user check icon as well that the phone number is verified or not so whenever we create an account in the app the phone number can be verified by the OTP. So this icon will come right here. And size box is 32. Then I'm passing between the phone number and the full name. After then I created a custom list tile. So basically I have to pass the heading. Okay, heading here and same i'm doing i'm passing the spacing as 16 and i created similarly for about and email etc then i created a custom multi choice widget as well here i am passing the heading the choices that the user can choose like male female other and then the selected gender which is initially set to zero and on change so whenever we change whenever we click on the options then we can simply get the index and then select gender equals to index within the set state so that we can change this as well after then size box of height 16 and then we are passing the logout and delete account as well okay so inside the column i am basically passing the setting tile here which i used in the previous page as well the setting tiles that we are having same widget i am using inside here also okay so inside the setting tile i created a extra parameter saying that should red glow if it is true then the icon and the text color should be red else if we don't pass that 
then the color will be normal white okay so i'll set that to true and similarly i'm creating the setting tile for delete account now let's talk about this custom multi choice widget and the custom list tile widget okay so in the custom list tile widget that is nothing but the heading and this container so in i have created a column with a row of text as heading dot to upper case and then in the column i am creating a container of width the size of the mobile phone width of the mobile phone that we are having minus 44 so why i am doing 44 here because as you can see in the padding in the left padding i am giving 22 and in the right padding also we are having 22 so that is why i have to add i minus subtracted 44 from right here okay height i set to 50 and then color i have set to this grayish color that we are having awesome and then inside then we can have a text field where we can type out our name and then we can edit that and save it as well so this is the prototype ui that i came up with let me know in the comments what you think about the ui as well so this is the complete ui oh let me also talk about the multi choice so it is also same what i am basically doing is that first i am passing the heading the same i am doing in the custom list style as well then i am creating a row as main axis alignment or space between and then i am creating a list dot generate choices so whatever choices that we are having i am passing that here and then here i have created a inkwell and on tap we have on select and i am passing the index as value changed int on select and then i am passing the container so inside the container i have set the width so basically the available space that i am having that is from right here to here okay i am basically dividing that in the number of choices that i am having so for example in this case we have three choices so that is where here it will come to 3 so this minus 10 is coming because if i don't pass that and if i reload the spacing between the male female and other will not come so that is why i added this minus 10 so that the spacing can also occur awesome and inside then and inside center i am passing the text as choices index dot to upper case and the color if this selected equals to index then we are passing the background color else we are passing the gray color that we are having okay so as you can see if i select then the text color will be black and if it is not selected then the text color will be white same i'm doing inside the decoration as well if the selected equals equals to index then the background color will be green else we are passing this grayish background here as well all right so this was all for the profile page for personal let's talk about for the view as well so i'm going to go back now let's open the crawl and here as well click on the profile okay so what is happening is let's go to view hmm. here also 
the top part that we are having is similar right so inside the row 16 height that i am passing the row here i am also having this button right here three dots so we'll add a pop-up there as well then i am creating the image of 140 width and 140 height exactly same that we did earlier then the user name we have and then the phone number we have with the verified icon the change in the ui occurs from here so basically after then i added a height of 16 and then i created a row for icons dot length so i created a row with list dot generate and then i'm passing the icons so basically these icons the call video call search and send some payment right so in the icons i am initializing it earlier so as you can see phone video search and rupee icon great and inside here i have also created a toggle variable which is set to true initially so this is the mute notification so we can toggle that as well and inside the media here we'll show all of these images that me and rick have exchanged so all of the media i will show right here like whatsapp okay so here we can pass the image url and then i'm simply list dot generate all of this later on this data will come from the api so we will remove this part as well later on so let's go to the code. So we were having on the icons dot length. Now this UI, what I'm doing, I'm creating a container of decoration color. I'm passing this grayish color that we are having. I'm creating a border radius of 12. So the border radius that we are having here. And also I have I am passing the icon here. So inside the center, I am passing icons index. So whatever icon we have to pass, I am passing that as well. And we have to add a gesture detector here as well. So we'll do that later on once we cover these functionalities like payment, search, etc. After then, I'm passing the size box of height 16 and then I'm passing a divider. So as you can see, there is a line here and with a thickness of 0 0.3 intent of 100 and end intent of 100 as well and a color of gray color with opacity 0 0.6. After then, I'm passing the setting tile as mute notification. And after then, I've added a size box of I32. And then I'm passing the heading, the media text that we are having right here. So I'm going to minimize this. And this is the main part of the grid view that I have added. So basically inside the grid view, first I added this height of 250 and grid view, I added the scroll direction as axis dot horizontal. And in the delegate part, I added the cross axis count as two, main axis spacing as 10 and cross axis spacing as 10 as well. So the spacing between these widgets right here. Awesome. After then I'm passing the item count as well. So the image is variable that I initialized earlier. I'm getting the count from here. And then inside the item builder, I am passing the container widget. So the widget is pretty easy. I'm passing the border radius and the color. That's it. 
After then, I created a sized box of 16, height of 16, and then I'm passing the setting tile as block, username, and report username. Great. So this is the complete UI for the profile page view section. So whenever we open up someone's UI, for example, this, then we can see the phone number and all of these details, block William David. All right. Now let's move on to the message screen. So as you can see, we've already integrated the gif part so if i click on here as you can see the gif is loaded yep and we can also search the gif as well so i can search like a uh, birthday And now all of these birthday GIF will show. Okay, I have to hit again. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, birthday. Okay. Now I can minimize this as well. Now what I have created is that if we type hi and send, okay. So now we created this animation of scrolling downwards and now we can message as well. So hello, boom. Okay. So this we've created. Also, I have created. So now if we long press on the mic button, you can see that we have delete recycle bin icon appeared and if i right swipe then you can see in the console we are getting cancelled so we have to create this audio functionality as well that is happening in the whatsapp i'll create that in the next part so stay tuned for that as well now the three dots if i click on that this bottom sheet appears like we have in the whatsapp okay so we can send document camera gallery audio payment location contact so now if i go to the document and if these are my recordings as you can see so now let's go to the image as document and as you can see this is the UI that I created for the document we have the JPG that is automatically extracted from the file data then the name and then a download icon and below that I am passing the size of the image in MB and then the fake time that we are having so this time and data will come from the api as well but it's all right for now so this is the ui for document if i go from the camera so let me just open up the camera it will open camera here and i can click a photo and as you can see the photo is shown right here. Awesome. Hmm. Okay. So one thing I have to do that if you noticed as well, if I open anything, for example, open the document, if I click here, the pop-up is still here, the bottom sheet. It should be automatically closed. So let's do that as well. So inside the message screen, message page dot dot, what we have to do is that
we have this show main bottom sheet right here and whenever we click on any of the button it should I should do I can do right here as well navigate pop context hmm. now let's reload let's go again let's go to the document and now we can simply say screenshot and we added the screenshot and the pop-up is also removed awesome we can add screen so we can add document camera from gallery also i can add from here so from gallery i can open here and you can see and from gallery also we can add the image okay and for the audio also let's go right here as you can see that the mp4 the jpeg and the mp3 so the extensions are also coming and the file size is also extracting awesome so this is what we are going to do next. So let's go to the message page dot dot. And let's go to the top. Now what variables I created. Firstly, I imported the scrollable position list. So that is very important and this package is very useful according to me and I created this controller as well so item scroll controller and I commented the scroll controller that comes in built in flutter and then I created a list of main menus so main menu document camera gallery right we are passing the heading the icon and also the key so the key is used in the switch case so if i go below you can see that i'm using this key in the case here later on so we'll talk about this as well but let's go up then I am creating this list of widget messages and I am passing it as late because I am initializing it in the init state. So in the init state, I added this get messages and traditionally the data will come from the API but for now I just initialize the data right here. So later on we'll get the data from the API and after then we'll go going to change the JSON to the widget. So basically this function we are having is doing that. After extracting the messages, we are simply scrolling to the bottom. So it will basically jumping to the bottom. awesome so instead of that what i can do scroll to bottom hmm. now what i have created extra here is that inside the custom text field text field okay circular text field so this is for the GIF controller, but we have to show for the message controller. Yep, right here. So, as you can see, I added this on field submitted as well and on changed as well. So, whenever we change, so for example, I type here, as you can see, the mic and the three dots disappear and the send icon appears so this is happening in the on changed i have added if the value dot length 
is smaller than 2 then we are going to set state else we are not going to do anything okay and after then i am passing it as a condition if the message controller dot text is empty if the text is empty then we have to show this two row of widgets else we simply show the send message icon here so basically on clicking that what i am doing is convert string to message so whatever string we are passing that string will be converted to the widget that is this widget and then we are simply adding the message in the messages list and we are clearing the controller and after then we are doing set state to rebuild the list view and then we are scrolling to the bottom also i am using transform dot rotate here to rotate this 30 degrees so basically you can see that this is rotated a little bit so i have done that here awesome great now hmm. let's go to the three dots inside here you can see i added this icons dot microphone so inside the circular icon button i created these two properties if i go there i created these two value change here so on long press start and on long press end so we are gonna need that later on in the videos so for, for now i am just creating a variable here is recording started and then i am simply initializing it is true and on long press end and if the local position dot dx is greater than 50 that means that the user wants to remove the recording so we are printing cancelled and else we are simply setting the is recording started equals to false so this is for the microphone that we are having right here after then i am pass width of 8 and then i am creating a icon button and this icon button what this will do is this will show a menu bottom sheet in the bottom and here we are showing the grid view so basically i created a padding and inside the padding i am passing a container of width as screen width and height as 340 so basically is I, if i click on here you can see that the keyboard automatically shut down and the pop-up automatically appeared so i am passing the decoration and inside the child i am passing the grid view dot builder same i am doing here also the cross axis alignment i am setting to 3 and the cross axis spacing i am setting to 15 after then i am passing the item count as main menus dot length and padding as 16 and after then i am passing the item builder so basically ink will have added you can use gesture detector as well gesture detector as well and on clicking i am basically using the key that we are storing above and using that so basically if the cases of document then we are using the file picker plugin that we installed initially and i am using that to pick files so we can also pick multiple files here as well so for example if i go to the document and if i select these multiple files and i have to, if i go here coding okay there they are 
right? One, two, three, four. So we can add multiple documents as well. So I am returning it as list of widget and then I'm appending the messages inside our initial variable and then I'm scrolling to the bottom. So this convert files to message. So this function, what it will do is this will take the platform files and then it will map it. And we are simply creating a document here. So I inside the circular message widget, I extended it with a parameter as document file. So if I go here and the models, you can see that there is a document dot dot. So inside the document dot dot, nothing but we are passing the file name, bytes and the file type that we are having. Okay, so here also I am passing the file name, size and the extension. And then I am returning this widget from here. Cool. Then I'm using the image picker plugin to get the images from the camera. And then I'm extracting the widget from the bytes as well. Cool. And then I'm using the gallery same, but instead of the source, I am passing it as pick multi image. Great. And for the audio, I simply added the allowed extensions as MP3, WAV, FLAC, etc. Cool. Now for the payment location and contact, these three are not yet implemented. And we have to add more plugins for that. For the payment, we'll add the UPI plugin. For the location, we add the geo location and we'll integrate the Google Maps API. And for the contact, we'll also add plugin for that to show the list of contacts. All right. So we've talked about all of these buttons. Now in the next video, what we are going to do is we are going to complete the payment location and contact features and also the audio feature. So ex for example, I am recording, then here a wave form should appear and then we can record that. So for now, if I long press, then you can see a black container appears on top of it. And this win icon also appears. So let's go back in the next part. What we'll do is we'll create the payment location contact and we'll work on the settings UI. So basically the profile UI is almost completed and it's done for the prototype. And what we have to do next is I'll integrate the share plugin. We have to create the UI for change password for FAQ help. So these mini UI pages that we have to make in the next video, I'll do that. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it till the end. If you found anything informative, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends as well. In the next video, we will create the settings UI and similar pages below that in the user tab. So with that being said, I'm Yashmakin. Peace out.